Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight I'm going to show you how you can actually add uh, flying toasters and weird stuff. Uh, like you can also do like, I, like I'm doing right now. I have a green uh, carpet in the background and then a... Um, or it's actually a blanket, sorry, and then uh, and then it looks like, uh, yeah, then you, then you can see my background. Stuff like that, you can actually do that when you're using Slack or Teams or, or Zoom or whatever you're using for uh, for, 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 for com communicating uh, and, and remotely talking to your colleagues or friends or family. Um, it is quite easy. First of all, you need to install OBS Studio. It's a brilliant product, and I'm not paid to say this, just so you know. And it works for all uh, platforms, Linux, Mac, Windows. When you have installed that, then you need to install something called OBS Virtual Cam. This is what uh, does the magic, actually, because this actually installs something called a virtual camera. Uh, and uh, you need to enable it. And after you have been in, uh, after you enable it, then you can uh, actually choose to to use this as input for um, for for Slack and for Teams and for and, and for all the all for video all, for all the video chat uh, applications, uh, you activate it and you know you know you have installed it correctly. If you uh, if you go press tools and then virtual cam, if this menu point is right there, then it's because you have installed the 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 plugin after you have installed the real product, of course. And <clears throat> when you press that, then it just went to my own other screen, uh, sorry. Then you get this little uh, box right here and uh, this little window. And right now I've already started this vir uh, this virtual camera. So if it, if it was stopped, then um, then I could just press start and then um, yeah, then it would uh, work and then it's, it, it, uh, it has been started. So before going to a meeting in Slack or Teams or whichever program you use, then just press start and then you can go and create a, a cool scene. I have added an image down here. You can see I have an image right here. This is just an energy from the from the internet, which is the, a toaster. So I just picked that one up and, and, and I'm using that right now. I'll remove it afterwards again. And then you can have cool things like this. Um, on your uh, yeah uh, on your meeting of course it can be a little bit uh, disturbing for other people but you could also have a logo you could also um, right now I'm, I actually have my uh, I have display captures that means that everything uh, on my display on my, on my second display is being uh, is being ca is being captured then I could actually add a background like I could add at uh, live cam from a zoo or uh, yeah, live cam from uh, from the big uh, cities uh, or whatever I want to show. It could also be a nice fireplace or aquarium um, or launch of space rockets or something like that. Then it, it makes it a little bit more interesting and it looks actually like you are a news reader when you are using this uh, feature right here. When you start working with the OBS Studio and now that we are already using it, then give me let me give you uh, some good advice. One thing is have a separate microphone like this and keep it as as close as you can to your, to your face, to your mouth, because even though the the microphones they actually they usually state that they can pick up sound in the whole room, it uh, it will start creating some weird echoes if it can, if it gets too far from uh, from your face and the sound quality is also worse. So as close as possible to the microphone is a good uh, trick. Another thing is, if you see flickering, then it's usually because you have a lamp that uh, that uh, has uh, the, the the wrong frequency. So try to turn off uh, the lamp in the room and then turn on some other lights. Uh, you'll pro you'll probably discover that the flickering is actually due to this lamp that has uh, this uh, f frequency of light. That, that that's what I experienced at least. Um, other tips and other tricks. Uh, yes, one more. Do not be uh, afraid to use profiles. Use profiles up here if you press scene collection. Maybe you have one uh, one profile for recording in the evening. You have another profile for uh, yeah for talking to someone where you are not where you don't want to show the video. And maybe you don't want a more serious one without toasters. Whenever you want to create um, to, to create um, new setups, uh, don't don't reuse the same uh, setup. Don't 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 just have one profile. I know it's fast to go in and disable and enable all of these uh, sources right here. But instead of that, create profiles. That is my tip uh, for you. It's, it, that is even faster. Another good tip is that you can use scenes right here. If I press this scene right now, the toast disappeared. I'm a little bit bigger. And we got some texts where it says OBS Studio. 
tips and tricks. I know it's a little bit uh, difficult to see because uh, I am uh, also um, I'm showing the same screen as I'm also manipulating right now. But uh, you can also add text. That's a rather cool thing, and you can also create rolling text so it looks like you have some breaking news in the bottom of the screen if that's what you want to do there are endless uh, possibilities and it's so much fun and uh, I, I, I bet that your colleagues will probably also uh, think it's a lot of fun um, but uh, try it out and see if they, if they complain of course um, uh, what else if you want to put up the, I, I have a green uh, blanket behind me uh, and if you want to see how that is done, uh, then you, you add, need to add a chroma filter to your video capture input device. So right now, right here, I have a filter right here. So I have a right click filter, then I can press chroma key. Let's say that I actually need to remember these values here. I've been tweaking a little bit on, on these, but uh, 451 and 32, okay. So now I'm going to remove it. Remove it, yes, remove chroma key. Then you can see this is how it actually looks instead. And you can see it's okay that there are a bit differences in the lighting on the on the green blanket. Of course, the, the more the more smooth the, 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 the lighting is, the better it is. Uh, yeah, the, the, more, the more uniform the lighting is and the more, uh, yeah, the, the more stretched out the less, the less waves in the in the in the blanket the better of course uh, but it, it, as you saw just before it works actually fine add chroma key again to get the green screen effects and do we remember the values almost maybe and round 30 or something like that with smoothness you need to treat this yourself that is the yeah but that is the, the the fun part if i turn it up too much then i disappear totally like this you can see that so um, it's important that these two values here are correct and sometimes you also need to change the green color that is being matched you can actually select custom you can select the custom color right here but i don't need to, uh, to do this in this situation i have enough light uh, usually uh, the, in the most in most cases if you cannot make this work without you being um, transparent it could be of course if you have a green t-shirt on another another possibility could be that you have that you don't have enough light in the room that's also an option yeah, another thing if you have to if you have a small room with a lot of bare walls then try to hang up some blankets on the walls then you would reduce the echo effect a lot if you have a window then pull down the shades before you start or open the window that can also help if you have a door Open the door or uh, close the door and then put up a blanket on the, in, on the inside of the the, uh, the door. Then um, you would also reduce the echoing effect. I think that was it actually. Mm. I think that's it. Yeah, when you when you change scenes, you can see that right now it's fading. That's because I chose fade right there. I can also say cut. Then it uh, then it changes the scenes directly. Then it's a harder change, as you can see right there. And of course, you can have a lot of scenes. The, the more scenes you have, the actually, the cooler it actually looks. So um, thank you very much for listening. This was just to show you how you can use OBS Studio to create. Uh, yeah, first of all, the, then you can create the output because this output that we are that we're looking at right here, that is output that will actually be sent to the. Uh, to, for instance, Slack or to Teams as input when we when we have uh, turned on the virtual cam. That's actually that was the trick I wanted to show you. So thank you very much for watching and um, have a great evening. Another thing I can okay last thing maybe sorry the last thing uh, that is the um, the camera that I'm using right now is C ninety uh, yeah nine hundred and twenty uh, Logitech. And I'm uh, pretty happy with that one, but uh, there, there are plenty of good cameras out there also. Sometimes the built-in camera can also be uh, good enough, uh, but so that's up to you. But um, yeah, I like that camera, and that's why the one I'm using. And I, again, I'm not paid to say that. So thank you very much. Have a great evening. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.